Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. We're kicking off your new week with more thunderstorms. Um, and this was a look at the Heber Valley yesterday. Mary Waterman posted this photo to Utah's Weather Authority. And look at that sweet lightning strike coming down. It's going to be, again, one of those afternoons where we're going to get some lightning. Not for everyone, but it is going to be a little bit more widespread. From the Intermountain camera earlier, you can see we started off your new day, your new Monday, fairly calm. You've got blue skies out there, a few clouds, but you've got the sunshine, which is nice. But here's the big weather story right now. We have a trough of low pressure that's moving into southern Nevada. This is going to make its way into the Beehive State. As it does so, it's going to weaken. But we have enough moisture in place that as things heat up this afternoon, that's going to energize some more storms, and that's going to continue over the next couple days. So there is a chance for showers and thunderstorms for most folks across the Beehive State, stretching from northern Utah, central Utah, down into southern Utah, southwest Wyoming. It's least likely uh, near that southeast corner of Utah. But again, anywhere in these areas shaded in that green, that's where we're going to get those showers and storms possibly developing. And you can see by about 1 o'clock early afternoon, we're starting to see those over the mountains, and they're going to filter down into the valleys later today. And so that is going to bring heavy rain, the chance for hail, gusty winds. So that's going to be the big concern. You can see that sticking around even into the early evening time, and then it's going to start to die down overnight into tomorrow morning. And we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. But the flash flood potential is there. It's possible at many of our parks and recreation areas. That includes Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef, Glen Canyon, Recreation Area, Grand Staircase, San Rafael Swell, and even Zion National Park. So I do want you to be extra careful if you are going to be spending some time outside this afternoon at any of our parks or recreation areas. As for this afternoon in Salt Lake City, temperatures that are feeling a little bit cooler than this last week and, and a, a little bit below average. We're only reaching the mid-70s in Salt Lake City, partly to mostly cloudy. So you'll start to see those clouds taking over and the skies are going to change quickly as those showers and storms develop. You kind of know the drill. We've been getting used to this over the last couple of weeks. So those low to mid 70s across the Wasatch Front, we were in the 80s this weekend. So it is going to feel a bit cooler, but I think it's going to feel really nice. And you know what? It's going to be nice that Mother Nature is helping out with the watering again today. I know my garden was so happy yesterday. Mid 60s in Park City, you'll reach 82 down in St. George. A chance for some showers down for you folks in lower Washington County. And overnight, we'll stay uh, pretty mild. Slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms sticking around late tonight into early tomorrow morning. But then those start dying down. And we'll start off your morning fairly calm. In St. George, tomorrow, things are drying out, nearing 90. And then you're going to do a slow climb. Look at that. Wednesday, highs in the low 90s. You'll stay right there until Friday, and then we start inching closer to the triple digits, mid to upper 90s by Saturday and Sunday. Northern Utah, this a wet kind of unsettled weather, it's going to stick around until at least Thursday. And this is going to impact northern central Utah, even southwest Wyoming. So the mornings will start fine. And then each afternoon, we'll get those showers and storms kind of ramping up for your Tuesday or Wednesday as we hover in the mid to upper 70s. But hey, here's the good news. If you have been kind of sick of the rain and you want a, a dry day with sunshine, by Friday, we're starting to dry out. We'll be in the low 80s. Saturday, perfect timing, sunny, mid 80s with another chance for some showers popping up Sunday afternoon.